guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I am so excited to be sharing with you the products from my makeup collection that I hit pan on. And I did do this video back in March, so I'm not mentioning any of those products that I've already talked about in that video. These are actually additional items in my makeup collection that I've hit pan on since filming that video and I'm so excited that I actually have a lot of progress on my collection. So I do have to attribute my progress on the majority of these products that are in here to Project Panning and I'm really happy that this year I really took to Project Panning and I've embraced it and I've had so much, so much fun with it. So I'm going to leave those products to the end of this video just in case you don't want to see the progress now, you don't want to have a spoiler for the end of the year updates on the three projects I'm working on. But I kind of just want to hop in and show you guys because I'm very happy with this and hopefully it will inspire you to work through your own collection. Uh, yeah, so yeah, let's just hop right in. The product that I've hit pan on most recently is this powder foundation. This is by Milani. It is the Even Touch Powder Foundation. And I have just been using this as basically a touch up. Um, I keep it in my makeup bag for work and I've also been using it to set my foundation, especially my Urban Decay All Nighter foundation. It is a little bit too pink for me and this has a very golden tone so I find that it really balances that out and makes my skin look a little bit more neutral. And I'm wearing it today. I love this stuff. I imagine it's not going to take me too much longer to go through it so I'm really excited to continue working on this guy. This next product does not look like a hit pan on it but this was from my 6 for Summer Project Pan and I had major pan on this guy and I decided to repress it after that project finished because um, I think when I was actually putting it back in my drawer after filming my finale, it cracked into a million pieces. Um, so I decided to repress it recently. I'll show you a picture of what it looked like before, but I'm really excited to keep using this. This is a beautiful shade. I didn't even tell you what the shade is called. It's called Sweetheart and it is a gorgeous shade. I really liked it in the summer when I had a little bit more of a tan and as I work through other blushes in my collection, I still find myself reaching for this one because that project really made me fall in love with this color and I'm not usually a blush wearer so that's saying something for sure and yeah, I can't wait to re-hit pan on this guy. So I hit pan on one of the shades in this Essence All I Need concealer palette. I'm not even sure if these are available anymore. I got this one at a Essence event that I went to for spring and summer launches and I, it really didn't take me very long to hit pan on this actually. And I was using it to really spot conceal to really perfect my skin and I did enjoy it and I honestly haven't reached for it ever since I hit pan on it. But I definitely want to um, start using this palette again. This Anastasia Contour Kit is very well loved in my collection and I've hit pretty major pan on this one right here. This is the shade Vanilla, I believe, and it is the matte highlight shade. I'm also very close to hitting pan on this banana shade right here. And I would consider repurchasing both of these shades. I don't know about the rest of the palette. Um, I don't go through bronzer very quickly at all, so I don't know if I would need to repurchase these anytime soon, but I do love that this palette actually allows for you to pop out products to not only travel with them, but also to replace them. And yeah, I would definitely consider repurchasing that shade as soon as it runs out. I have a ton of pan on this Pacifica Perfect Lotus Universal Powder. This is in the shade Light, and I don't love this product to be completely honest but I did spend my money on it so I have put it in my handbag and in my makeup bag every once in a while just to kind of touch up and reduce like oiliness especially in the summer I was using it for that. I also love that it's this tiny little tin like this tin this lid just screws right on. It's tiny it's so nice to put in a bag if you're going for a night out and super easy to use. Um, it's not like a very densely packed powder, but it does have a little bit of coverage. And I don't think I'll repurchase this when I run out of it, but I have been enjoying it since having it in my collection. And the last product that isn't in a project is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Hanky Panky. And I had pan on this quite some time ago, and I'm slowly working my way through this product, but it's one of those products that I don't want to use up entirely. I have no idea. I think it's a permanent color, so I shouldn't 
feel like I can't use it, but I love this like cooler tone beigey brown as an all over lid shade just to really cancel out all the veins and everything on my lids. But I also love it as a transition with other colors, any color at all actually. This color works so well with any eye look. And it's definitely a shadow I would recommend for anyone with fair to medium skin. So the remaining products I have to talk to you guys about all are in Project Pans. So there is a little bit of sneak peeks here, but I am very excited about my progress so I figured I'd show you guys here. And the first item I want to show you is a product that I actually talked about in the first products I've hit pan on video. And um, it is in my current Project Pan Roulette. And I hit pan on another shade in the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. So I've already shown this in my update, so there's nothing really new except the pan has expanded a little bit. This is the eyelid shade that I had originally hit pan on that I featured it back in March. And then this one here I've recently hit pan on within the last like month or just over a month. So very excited to be making more progress on this palette. And it actually is the palette that I'm wearing on my eyes but I'm wearing this uh, crease shade here all over the lids and on my lower lash line as well. And I'm just doing like a single shadow look with this color and I think it's really, really nice. So this next product is the Rimmel Natural Bronzer and this is in the shade Sunlight. This is in my 12 pans of Christmas. However, I did hit pan on it before that project began. So there is a little bit more progress that you guys can see here, but not too much more as it's only been a couple weeks. Um, this product I hit pan on actually over the summer and I was using it on my legs and arms just to bronze up to make my body kind of more uniform with like my shoulders and face where I got more sun. Um, so the name is actually kind of fitting sunlight. But this is not cruelty free so I won't be repurchasing it. I just want to use it up. Um, that's why it's in a project right now and I have made a little bit more progress but nothing too visible but really happy that I'm getting this guy out of my collection as it isn't cruelty free. This is MAC Soft and Gentle, again not a cruelty free product, but I have been working on this ever since March when I started my 17 in 2017, and I'm very happy with the progress that I have made. Not only has the dome gone down on this, but there's actually a lot of pan showing in this, um, I guess it's the top corner really, in the top corner there. There's a lot of pan that is visible, and I'm continuing to use this until the end of this year and I'm really hoping to get a little bit more progress happening. This is the Sephora Colorful Contour in the shade Los Cabos and there isn't any pan anymore because again I repressed this product too and I'll show you a picture of what it looked like before. I just repressed this maybe last week and so I'm hoping to hit pan on it again before the end of this year but you'll definitely have to keep tuned for my 17 and 2017 finale, which is gonna be in about a month's time. If you're familiar with my channel, these are not news to you guys. These are the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows in the shade Leopard, which is the purple. And then this one here is Melrose, this like terracotta shade. I hit pan on these quite some time ago in my 17 and 2017, but the progress is very slow moving when it comes to ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. So yeah, I do have some pan happening on the more colorful shades in my collection, which is very exciting because I definitely tend to hit pan on neutrals and natural shades just because those are the items that I use on a more everyday basis. But incorporating these into my 17 and 2017 has given me more of an opportunity to use color, or not an opportunity, but um, it's given me a reason to incorporate color more so into my everyday looks and very happy with the progress regardless of how slow moving it has been as of late. And on the topic of natural and neutral shadows, I have a ton of pan happening in my Lorac Unzip Gold palette. There are four pans here right now, however there was a fifth pan here in Undressed and I recently repressed that guy as well just because there was such little product in there. And the last product I have to share with you guys today is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. And I've hit pretty good pan on this guy, working on it in my 17 and 2017. I haven't really used it much as of late. So this is my boyfriend, Patrick. Hello, everybody. And he wants to share with you a couple products that he's actually recently hit pan on. So yeah, I'm just going to let him take it away. Hello, everybody. My name is Patrick. I am Rebecca's fantastic boyfriend. Fantastic. And 
I have recently hit pan on the two products that I use, so I wanted to join in the fun and uh, share with you what I've what I've been doing. So, uh, first up is my hair styling product. It's from Paul Mitchell. Uh, it's called Material. It's a styling clay, and I use it every morning uh, to sort of get my flow going the right direction. Here, it seems to work very well. Uh, not only does it work well, but it is also cruelty free. Uh, this is the second time I've purchased it, and you can see I just hit pan uh, earlier this month. It smells great, it works good, yeah, it uh, and it lasts a long time. My first one lasts me just over 10 months. Um, I went out and immediately bought another one, and I'm about halfway through it yeah. this time around. And they're $22.50, I think, for the tub, but when it lasts like nearly a year, then it's totally worth it. And for like a luxury hair brand as well as a cruelty free brand, like I really don't think that that's a bad price when you think about how much use you get out of it. And it is actually probably your favorite hair styling. Yeah, I've got two or three other similar styling clays and uh, they just stay in my drawer. They're sort of backup if for whatever reason I run out of this and don't replace it. But um, this is for sure my all time favorite hair styling product. It works fan works great and uh, I just hit pan. Woo! <laughs> uh, next up is my beard balm. I use this every day as well. It's sort of my routine. I do my hair and I do my beard. Uh, it's from Paragrine Supply Co. out of British Columbia. It's a small little brand. Uh, we purchased this on our trip to BC this fall so it was a really fun uh, trip and I came home with something that I use every day. So. <clears throat> yeah, but it's a new addition to your routine, yeah. I guess, right? Because yeah. this is the first beard off that you have. Exactly. I've always had a beard. Uh, it's never been very impressive, um, but I wanted to sort of tame it a bit and maybe let it, allow it to grow a bit longer without looking ridiculous. Yeah. So I use this every morning. You see I just hit the pan on it. Um, like a couple mo mornings ago. It's a very small amount um, daily just to keep your hair from flying right away and kind of makes it smoother too, kind of conditions it a bit, so. You like my beard now? Yeah, it looks good and it smells good. This is um, Bonsai Citrus scent. It smells really good. It's like fresh and woodsy and it, it is like quite a masculine scent without being like cologne -y. Like yeah. I actually really like it's the fragrance sort of, of this one. It's woodsy, natural, delicious smell. Yeah, it's really nice. And I'm, this smells great too, so combined, watch out. So yeah, pretty. gust of wind comes at Patrick's way, and he's you can smell all these delicious things. <laughs> it's so weird. I wish you had smell of vision <laughs> Yeah, they gotta invent that. It's gotta be something. Anyway. Anyways, that's my bit. I just wanted to say hi, meet everybody, let them know that uh, your boy's got some pans going on too. Yeah. So he wants to be a part of the panning community, but he only owns two products that he can pan. Right. So this is his contribution. Here I am. Regardless. And those are the pans. It yeah. It's a pleasure meeting you. <laughs> and um, feel free to like, comment, or subscribe to Rebecca's channel. Um, she appreciates everything that you guys do for her. And uh, yeah. yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna try to do a little vlog this weekend, right? Yeah, we're going on a weekend trip. Uh, it's this lady's birthday on Sunday. So watch out for that. It should be fun. It I'm might be. It, it might go up before or after this. I'm not really sure when I'm gonna end up putting this up. But right. Look forward to more of this face and beard and hair <laughs> in a future videos. Yes. Yeah. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great one. Bye, Bye. guys.